welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the Capricorn Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for your support your likes and share this is the second week of September 2017 and in this week we have the energy vibration of the hurt so it's a wonderful week for you Capricorns whatever situation um, whatever situation that has happened in your life in the past there is going to be something that is going to be much better it is the end of a negative situation it's the end of situation that happened and you're leaving um, this spot and you're going up on a new journey in your life as I look at energy the number seven is your energy vibration for this week the number 717 and as we go along we're going to see that there is a lot of earth energies that are here to support you guys because on Monday you have an earth energy and on Thursday okay the energy of the moon is here but this moon is a very wonderful positive moon this moon has the energy vibration of positive energies coming at you this moon is the universal angels and guides trying to connect and um, giving you a wonderful situation whatever is happening in this week it's going to be very powerful because you have the seven of ones you have the the, the organization and you have a protection from the organization and good news is coming also because you have the energy vibration of the six of ones and you have the seven of heart which is good seven of heart is that you're working on something you have the king of water and then you have the four of fire which is a celebration and you have a celebration but yet still a strong foundation the energy of the moon is the intuition um, on Sunday your intuition is going to be extremely extremely high so whatever the um, situation is is that you are going to have a very positive positive energy vibration that will be coming up because the energy of the intuition is going to be very high the six of fire is the center of your reading the six of hair so you have the number six and the number seven the six of fire is stepping into the limelight being an enlightened influence so this is going to be good for a lot of you Capricorns with the six of fire and I, for some reason because these cards are new these cards are um, this is what is your energy for this week the six of hair and I'm going to look at the six of hair but somehow I was drawn to the six of fire because I know the six of ones is always very good news coming in whatever is happening is that you guys are at the end of a journey at end of a situation that has happened in your life and this is wonderful because you have the energy vibration of the six of hair I do like these cards because they're wonderful okay the six of hair is that rid of uh, the writ of a passage a necessary change in thinking to gain greater wisdom and this is good so it says a writ of a passage a necessary change in thinking to gain great wisdom okay I don't know why I'm guided to read this however turbulent the water at the moment I trust that if I create calm within my outer as a condition will soon be calm too I am conditioned to expect turbulence ahead but I have shift my awareness and know that I can choose to believe that stepping into the unknown will bring me to what I truly desire I am in a transition to something better and this is the most wonderful wonderful message to, to, to say about the six of swords because this is the energy of the six of swords this is this is wonderful um, this is from Khaled Barrett and this is the good Tara and this is extremely good I love this energy you Capricorns are always getting a longer reading and the um what is governing your week is the six another six the six of fire and it says stepping into the limelight 
been an enlightened influencer I generously mod model my transition so that others might be inspired I put my light at top of the hill so that it can shine for it helping others to find their way I remain aware of the shadow and people who have troubled bashing into the warm light of higher awareness I bless them but do not dim my own beacon it's a time to renew my trust that I am contributing to the highest good of all in my own unique way this is wonderful for you Capricorns I have not read it for another sign I was guided to read it for you guys and now we are going to go deeper into reading because you have two six and this is why and um, I read it you also have two seven which is the seven of fire and the seven of hurt which is good okay I'm asking the angels and guys to show the Capricorn people in this week what is going to happen for the Capricorns in the second week of September there is so much what is going to happen to the Capricorn in the second week it's going to happen to the Capricorn in the second week okay the energy of you leaving something behind to new grounds you have won a battle whatever the battle was you have won a battle because the ace of sword you have a stand up for injustice and won the battle I'm guided again to look at something so the ace of sword is a wonderful energy it's because the ace of sword is using the swords in the right way to heal a situation and this is good because I prefer people to use words to um, heal a situation instead of your going to use it to challenge other people and the air people tend to always do something like that so here we have the ace of swords so whatever it is we have left that behind and we're moving forward and by moving forward you're seeing now that the energy vibration of the ace of swords has come up and you have won an injustice over you so the ace of swords doom that the dead goddess display her embrace the soldiers of words the courage the skull her purple so what is happening is that there's a transformation you have stand your ground with whatever situation that was going on and you have stand your ground whatever is happening there is a, a, a recurrence of certain things that is coming in let's look at this on Monday you have an urge energy you're beginning the week with an organization whatever the situation is the energy of the Prince of Pentacles is coming in Merlin he's like the magician so this a Prince of Pentacles is coming for it out of an organization to help you and he is going to help you to bring balance in your life in whatever way that he can so let's see why is he here and what is he going to do yep ten of pentacles <laughs> okay so whatever is happening um whatever the situation is that has affect you uh, this organization there's someone that from out this organization that is the energy of the Prince of Pentacles is going to bring you the Ten of Pentacles, which is a lot of money, financial security. So somebody, someone from out of an organization who is the Knight of um, the Prince of Pentacles is going to bring you information about um, the Ten of Pentacles because obviously something um, that was unjust against a lot of you out there is going to be balanced out on Tuesday we have the energy vibration of the seven of uh, fire the seven of fire is a wonderful energy I love seeing these uh, um, uh, unicorns because I always call upon my unicorns to stand within my aura and place the energy vibration or stand beside me so 
um, for the people who are in the fourth and fifth dimension sometimes you can see the unicorn standing um, in these uh, cards and this is you know very good because the seven of fire is a wonderful positive energy whatever the situation is with the seven of fires that mean you're protecting yourself your spirit guides and angels are protecting you you're on the good um, part in your life so whatever you know that has happened let's look at it as you know whatever happened I am walking away from it and I'm walking away being very strong because I have yet still three cups standing and it's better to have three cups standing and have in balance your emotional self so you're walking away with a strong emotion from whatever the situation was and know that you have reached a point that you could just move away and walk away there's a lot of fire energies that is coming up in this week to help you because you have a week of the hair energy and the fires are coming up okay wonderful as we move on we have the energy vibration of the six of fire six of fire is also a good energy because good news is about to come in whatever the situation is this is positive news and you have no regrets okay whatever the loss was you are accepting whatever is given to you and you're moving on and this is the best thing to do the energies of the fires are here and you are going to use the situation to move yourself away from certain aspects and certain things in your life so the six of fire is um, a very positive one where you're going to consider yourself being you know emotionally balanced and moving away from whatever situation that there was as we look at Thursday we have the seven of earth the seven of earth has to do with hard work you have done um, some hard work and you have here the king of cups who is coming in to help you so for most of you men you're going to have a support a fatherly support from someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and this is going to be very good whatever the situation is this a person is going to come in and help you and guide you to your part they're going to be helping you with gifts and that sort of a thing and this is going to be good as we move on we have the energy vibration of the king of water so here we are seeing that whatever is happening for you Capricorns the energy vibration of the Pisces the Scorpion and um, Pisces Scorpion and uh, the Pisces Scorpion and the um, cancers or people are going to be coming in to support you in whatever way and we are seeing that there is a twice the king of water and the king of cups is here so this is going to be extremely good so on Friday whatever this situation is this king of cups and queen of cups is going to come up these two persons so these two persons are going to affect a lot of us because it can be the partner of some of you Capricorns and whoever this person these persons are it's going to be a sense that they are helping you in whatever sense they can do uh, in, in whatever way they can do and this is going to be extremely positive so Friday is going to be a wonderful day if your parents are Pisces cancer or scorpion it's a good day to connect with them okay a very positive day to connect with them as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the four of fire so here's another fire energy that is helping you guys and this is going to be extremely positive whatever situation that has been happening you're going to realize how beautiful this is going to work out because you have a strong foundation and there is going to be a huge celebration and as you can look at that fairy see that fairy playing her music that means there is a celebration you are going to be balanced and you have um, stability in your life oh my god the four of pentacles also so whatever the situation is you're going to be justified you're going to be um, have a good strong balance in your life and you also have the four of Pentacles which that means your financial situation is going to be balanced out so this is a good for you ladies and gentlemen 
as we look at Sunday we have the energy of the moon the energy of the moon is here on Sunday this is a wonderful moon Sunday is going to be a day when all of your intuition is at a high level and whatever information that you get over this person who is the princess of wands your intuition is going to be very high about this person okay it's as if this person um you know you're going to see this person for who they are this is the princess of wands so it's someone who is between the ages of 18 and 35 okay so your intuition is going to be right on top um, whatever you thought or whatever your intuition guide you that this person was not being honest or being honest or whatever this is going to be coming up because you're going to be right about this person it's as if it's someone who is young in your life is maybe it's your a, a, a relative a sibling someone but someone who you know who is between the ages of 18 and 35 whatever happened this person um, was not being honest and you are going to realize that because your intuition is going to be so high about this person I'm so grateful and you know there's another energy here which is just wonderful it is charity so a lot of people will be uh, charity uh, being charitable to you if you are in disaster um, restricted areas so um, for the people who are in the, in the states remember that uh, the hurricane season is about is is big it has begun and um, Florida is going to be um, one of those um, states that is going to be um, hit by this hurricane so be charitable I'm asking I'm calling up on each and every person to share these videos and be charitable in this week okay these are just natural disasters and um, we need to help each other as I'm looking at your week it's going to be a very positive week no matter whatever it is whatever loss whatever dishonesty that has happened in organization this is going to be a bring in balance in your life and also financial balance okay whatever the situation is um, you're going to feel a loss but um, look at it as if you know you still have three cups and this is good because whatever is happening is emotional loss okay this week is not a week about love it is a week of you standing up um, against injustice it's a week of you realizing that there's still good people because of organization whatever organization that you that there was a disruption with or whatever this dispute that was there it is going to be balanced in a positive way in a very positive way on Sunday your intuition is going to be very high there is someone between the ages of 18 and 35 and this person is not being very honest you realize that this person wasn't it's as if you felt as if I can't trust this person anymore and um, it is it, 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 it is a go by your intuition because it's true okay again on this Friday there is a situation with someone um, with um, the the um, the energy vibration from the Pisces ma uh, masculine and feminine side so if your parents or Pisces cancer or scorpion connect with them on Friday because this is going to be very good as we move forward and we're looking we are using the angels of abundance and let's ask the angel of abundance what is in store for the Capricorn in the second week of September unlimited ideas your mind is one of with God infinity mind there you have complete access to unlimited ideas generates to bring blessing all you need to do is to take divinely guidance action to allow these ideas to come to fruition so this is wonderful for you Capricorns because it is saying that you have unlimited ideas and that is true because most Capricorns are very or business people and are very hard-working people and this is a positive week for you because 
the um, abundance angels are saying that you have unlimited ideas because you're so connected to the earth and they want you to start to open up and um, access these ideas to, so that you can um, be very positive in whatever whatever answers that you want in this week the message is if you believe in it so this is saying if you believe in yourself if you believe that whatever you want you can achieve it if you believe that there's good things coming up for you if you believe it's going to happen okay and I want to say to each and every person I want to thank you for being here thank you for supporting my channel thank you for the wonderful um, support that you have been given to us and remember please donate to the people if you can because I know things are hard for everyone out there but please remember to donate to the people who ha are in um, the hit of this hurricane because um, it's gonna hit Florida and it's gonna hit it hard okay so I want to say thank you for being here listen to your Sun Moon Horizon sign if no videos uh, weekly videos are being presented that's mean that I was it in the hurricane because I'm also in Florida and I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for supporting my channel and please share and uh, share these videos and I want to say namaste until next week